you're out on the edge of the world if you're on top of Everest. You can speak on a satellite phone, yeah, but that doesn't mean anybody can get to you. And you can have great guides, you can have an excellent route set, but when you are dealing with the highest mountain on Earth, you're still a long ways from anywhere. 26,000 feet does not feel that good on the brain or the body. Now we got a little snowstorm rolling in here, which might be hampering our summit bid. We have one chance at this, and that's uh, leaving tonight. We're all hopeful that we can make it. Otherwise, we're going back down tomorrow, regardless. Okay, you ready? There's a reason that some of this has never been done before. We're trying to go to the highest niches of Mount Everest to install the highest weather station in the world. To try to do science up at some of these elevations this is an added challenge. And we're pushing the envelope. Every spring in the Himalayas, a temporary town comes to life. For the next two months, this will be the highest village on Earth. Everest South Base Camp. At over 5,000 meters, it's at the extreme edge of where the atmosphere can sustain human life. For decades, Climbers have gathered here, each preparing for their chance at Everest's summit. This season, one group is here with an entirely different goal. Hello, namaste. My name's Tom. To get a better understanding of how this mountain impacts all of us. We know literally nothing about what goes on above 5,000 meters. And yet it's this fantastic window into a portion of the atmosphere where granted not a lot of people live, but that's critically important to what goes on in the rest of the world. Paul Majewski will be leading a team of more than 30 scientists in some of the most challenging conditions on Earth to compile the first complete portrait of the iconic mountain. The National Geographic Rolex Perpetual Planet Expedition is the largest scientific expedition ever conducted on Everest. Among those braving the mission will be geologists, glacial experts, and a biology team. Most ambitious of all, two climate scientists are here to install the highest weather station the world has ever known, as close as they can get to the summit. <laughs> 